So, I mean, based based on what you described, is it, is it fair to assume that in the coming, I mean, so with the combination of inflation and the fact that you can't buy really a, a new car for what seems like under 25, 30 grand at, at these levels, um, and the fact that you have automakers uh, coming into the EV market more at the middle top range, I'm guessing, you know, the, the, the Mach-E is, I think it starts at what, 35 or 40 or something like that. Yeah. So it's still not very affordable. Um, I mean, is it fair to assume that in the next, you know, call it for the next three to five years, I guess, that there's going to be basically no options in the lower tier price level? Is that fair to assume? Yeah, what we're seeing is most OEMs are leading with their high dollar vehicles. So, leading, you know, GM leading with the Hummer and the Lyric. So look at the average transaction price if you blend them together, 110, 120,000, and then like, they say 52,000, but I bet the first whole year's worth of Lyrics are the higher end version, right? The 60, $70,000. And then you'll see them probably lead with, you know, electrified versions of the Silverado, big, heavy, expensive. And um, they're going to start high because that makes business sense. Um, and Elon Musk actually pointed this out when he was asked, why, you know, why aren't you working on the development of your low cost? Uh, Bev. And he said, well, you know, we already have like years worth of demand of our Model 3, Model Y, S and X, you know, so what, you know, let's let the, I think he wanted to let that play out. And then once the demand wanes on that, then he can enter the market with a low cost, a lower cost Bev. Yeah. And, and then, uh, yeah. sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say, so, and then under that assumption, so say you're a manufacturer that you're, you know, I'm going to use Toyota as an example, and let's just assume they have an EV. Actually, I'll use GM. I'll use GM because they... Actually, I'll use Ford because <laughs> they actually have an EV. So um, it's no secret that this year, because of a lot of supply chain issues, a lot of these automakers have actually lost a lot of ground in Q1 because they really can't get the supply out, right? And then as they transition towards... You know, and let, let's assume that as we go through the years, there's more and more people wanting to buy EVs. And we know these manufacturers are introducing EVs at the middle to higher range. Um, but then it sounds like they're going to be selling less cars net as the years go by because of that. And if that's the case, and then correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't that mean that the lower cost vehicles immediately become unprofitable because you're just not pushing enough supply through the factories? Am I thinking about that correctly? Um, y yes and no. So now there are some cars in the United States which sell hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Like the best selling globally c cars are like, I don't know, like the, the Camry, the Corolla, the Tacoma, they sell a lot, a lot of Hyundai vehicles, the Elantra and the, the Santa Fe, they sell like five or 600,000. There's a point the only point you need to really make the business case strong for a vehicle is about 125,000 vehicles a year. 200, so 250,000, 125,000. When you get over that amount, over 125,000, now the amortization of your tooling and the the keeping a, a whole factory busy for the whole year, you've hit that point. So there's diminishing returns when you go from 125,000 to 250 to 375,000 to half a million to a million. There are some advantages, uh, particularly if you can really make a plant super efficient. And um, there's, uh, you know, but you really get hurt when it becomes a niche vehicle. So if it's a low cost vehicle and you're only able to sell 20 to 40,000 a year, you're losing money because the throughput's not there to keep the plant busy. The throughput's not there to keep your suppliers busy. You might be paying penalties. So seeing the bolt uh, sell 40,000 a year, that, you know, that can be, you know, a disadvantage for your profit margins and not reaching the scale that you really needed. Yeah. Got it.